the Ward Moon View. After burning down the house, Kristen is admitted to a psychiatric hospital under the care of an experimental doctor and some rather unappealing medical staff. It really doesn't seem like she's going to get any kind of help or sympathetic ear out of any of the orderlies or nurse or any, anything like that. The fellow patients, all young females, are eccentric? No, they're not rich. They're weird. And some of them may genuinely be insane. And this includes a young Britney Spears in you know, the schoolgirl outfit. So yeah, probably insane. During the night, something stalks the titular ward and Kristen is determined to get out of there and or learn the truth of what is actually going on. This is John Carpenter's only movie that you know he's directed in almost a decade, you know. This came out in 2010. Before that, we have to go all the way back to 2001, Ghosts of Mars. So, you could call this anticipated, and with John Carpenter being one of my favorite directors, <sighs> with that said, I don't want to give off the impression that this was some kind of situation where the movie didn't live up to the hype or something. I merely, you know, just judging it as a movie, even not necessarily a John Carpenter movie, but just in general, it's just not all that impressive. But let's start with the positives. As with most John Carpenter's work, the atmosphere, the suspense, and to an extent the scares. Excellent. You know, this really, with just lighting, location, sounds, and camera work, this really builds up a remarkable atmosphere. You really feel like, you know, just from, from the very get-go, you can just tell bad stuff is going to happen. The pace is actually pretty good. Now, the film is, I believe, without credits, it's like, and I'm talking ending credits, it's like 80 minutes, maybe like 82, you know, just about. So, you know, not even an hour and a half. It moves pretty swiftly. I didn't really feel at any point like there wasn't either plot or character development going on. The characters, even the ones that you might not, you know, alright, love, are not obnoxious to the point where you just can't stand, you know, watching them or, you know, you like, want them to die or something. Now, that is unfortunately about it. There is some good music as well, but I honestly didn't notice it that much in this one. As you know, when compared to other John Carpenter movies. But when I noticed the music, it was really good. As a horror film, the creature is not all that interesting. It's essentially just... And this, this isn't a spoiler, because you see it pretty early on. But it's really just like a zombie kind of thing, or just, you know, a, a walking dead body. And it doesn't move slow like a zombie, so it doesn't even have that going for it. And the movie 
is essentially a slasher. And that again is really not a spoiler because, you know, it, it has an opening kill and it just, well, I guess that doesn't exactly make it a, a slasher, but, you know, as the film progresses, you, you, know, you quickly realize this is a slasher film. And again, that's, I, I, I like slasher films quite a bit, but it's not that compelling of a slasher film. It's not that memorable of a slasher film. And at the end of the day, it's not that satisfactory of a film in general. It feels somewhat cheap, and I realize that's ironic with... You know, John Carpenter's movies are typically low budget, but this one actually feels... You know, there's there are different kinds of low budget. John Carpenter low budget is not unlike Robert Rodriguez, Rodriguez low budget. If someone tells you this didn't have that much money behind it, you might be able to sort of tell, you know, if you really, just if, if you know going in. But otherwise, you might not really be able to tell, you know. It actually, it looks better than some, you know, movies that have far more money behind it, which is not to necessarily say that it looks as good as it could. And then there's Roger Corman kind of low budget. And this is somewhere in the middle. It's not Roger Corman low budget, but it is closer to that than, you know, most John Carpenter's films are closer to the Robert Rodriguez kind of low budget. But yeah. And other than that, I can't completely place it. Part of me wants to say that it feels like it was made for TV, maybe, or just... They, you know, there, there are some very odd editing choices in this. Yeah, and the... It also feels somewhat like a new horror movie, and I realize that might go without saying, but it feels more like a new horror movie than it feels like a John Carpenter movie. Other than the atmosphere and some of the scares, this does not feel that much like a John Carpenter movie. The acting is fine. It's, you know, not Oscar-worthy, but it's certainly not excessively bad. The cast is largely unknowns, except for, you know, Moriarty as the doctor with you know, experimental methods. Well, I don't know if that's entirely fair. I, he was also in, um... Moving on. The effects are, again... It, th well, they vary. There are some that are actually pretty good. And then there are some that just... Again, they, it, it feels like they just didn't have the money and they didn't quite want to admit, you know, because John Carpenter's the master of actually making things work, even when he doesn't have a massive amount of money. But this doesn't feel like, I don't know, it, it feels like less effort was put into it than typical for a Carpenter picture. The death scenes, you know, the, the kills always, you know, important for not all horror movies, but certainly slashers, are really not that interesting. You know, you're not... This movie is really not going to stick much with you. For what it is, however, it is not bad, and, you know, I think... You know, the, the overall... The, the structure of it, and basically what is... You know, the. When you break it down into its. the elements it's composed of and analyze them one by one, you can see how much of this actually does kind of go together. And, you know, I. Yeah. But overall, not what I'd really recommend. You know, it. I wouldn't have even watched this if it wasn't 
Carpenter, probably, and, you know, I wouldn't really have missed much if I hadn't, so, yeah, but, you know, if you're gonna watch it, it's not bad, it's, you know, I don't regret watching it, so, please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.